Hi everyone. With less than a week to go um, and a fair bit of traffic on UTS Online, I thought I'd just take this opportunity just to clarify a few things around what's in the final exam. Um, so, as I've already discussed and as you guys already know, it's a three hour, ten minute long exam. Um, it's roughly 50 50 practical and theory. Now, in terms of the topics which are in there, now in terms of practical, the practical topics cover from topic 7 through to topic 12. Um, so you're looking at employee benefits, uh, which is topic 7, just before the mid-semester exam, through to topic 12, which was cash flows. Uh, in terms of theory, uh, that covers topics 1 through to topic 12. Now, just to be clear on this, and I did discuss this in the lecture, um, we're not going to ask you anything specifically from basically 2 through to 6. So we're not going to ask you something specific about intangible assets or something specific about exploration assets. It's more more just so that you keep on top of all that introductory work. So what is an asset? What is a liability? Um, but more importantly, topic 1. Topic 1 is quite important. So what are the uses of accounting, um, managerial incentives, all those sort of things. So definitely be revising topic 1. Um, plus the underpinning sort of work from topics two through to six, um, and obviously you know topic seven and beyond you need to be on top of. Uh, a couple of additional points. There is no foreign currency in the final exam. Um, make of that what you will, but there is going to be no questions that look at foreign currency in the final exam. Now. There's been a lot of questions whether that's topic 8 or topic 9. Now, the one comment I will make about that is you can have hedges other than foreign currency hedges. And I'll leave it at that. Um, an additional point, and it's just something to be made aware of, and it's nothing to get too overly worried about. Um, there is going to be an ethical component in one of the questions. Now, as long as you understand what the transaction that you're dealing with is, um, which you should anyway, then there is really no problem with this one. It's just getting your point of view as to whether or not you think a company should do a particular thing. Um, so, as I said, as long as you can understand what's happening with the transaction, so if it was a leasing thing, um, you understand the difference between the types of leases, um, you know, if it's a hedging thing, you understand the different types of hedges. As long as you understand the underlying transactions, um, there is going to be not an issue with that particular question. We're just after your thoughts on it. We've also been getting a lot of questions about present value questions, and particularly that people are getting close, but not exactly to the numbers which are, which are turning up in the questions that we've provided. Now, this is not a problem. Um, there is going to naturally be a difference caused by rounding. Um, the present value factors are usually rounded to three or sometimes four decimal places. They're not going to give you exact numbers. Um, the percentage that they're out is very, very, very small and is not a problem in an exam. And I'll repeat that, it is not a problem in the exam. Um, so don't be worried if you're out, even by even by a couple of hundred dollars, even in some of those questions, even by three or four thousand dollars. If you look at the percentage, it's very very small. Lastly, um, in terms of support, we are looking at the discussion boards. There have been questions. We are getting to them, um, and there may well be consults in the lead up, possibly on the Wednesday. Uh, so just keep your eye out on announcements and on Facebook and on Twitter. Um, Good luck in between now and Thursday. Um, hope the studying goes well. And again, if you've got any problems, got any questions, please ask us. All right, thank you. Bye.